Well, I got this end section of this conveyor cut off and I got the motor out of it because I'm going to put my generator. It may be better to have to run that motor instead of running the generator I'm on going to use. I just don't happen to know that. If any smart person wants to teach me that, I'd be willing to learn. We got it cut out. We may end up having to get that pulley there and put it in some sort of which way. So let's see if we can explain the idea. We're going to put this guy like right here, but we'll just go through the order. So we're going to run chain from the wheel to this sprocket which is going to turn this sprocket, which is then going to turn that sprocket, which is then going to turn this sprocket, which is then going to turn this sprocket, which is then going to turn that pulley. And here we'll mount the generator and it'll be attached to a belt. So yeah, chains, I don't really like chains. I don't really like belts. They both have their problems, but I, you know, they both work pretty good at the same time. But a chain, you don't have to put adjustments in it. A belt, you either have to put a tensioner or tension it. So all this inner working stuff is just going to be mounted and good to go. And then we'll only have one adjustment we have to keep an eye on, hopefully. I don't think we're going to cut this down anymore. We may to make it a little easier to move because I'm a one-man show. But you got to drill holes to mount. And that's where we're going with it. The uh, looks like the hardest thing to it is going to be beating this old pulley off. Which I know if I hit it too hard, it'd probably break or something. So smoothing it off. All right, so I got it mounted on the shaft, and here's the generator. Uh, the it's a little bit crooked right there, so I'm gonna cut this back tab off and move it over some. And I've got to build something to connect that part to support the generator side. And we moved some of the sprockets over just a little bit to give to put it on new fresh metal all of it's pretty worn pretty bad but it's going to do pretty nice um put a new chain on there hit that pulley with the hammer a few times trying to straighten it out and for a little information on the generator it's like a regular old cheap gasoline generator and the engine the engine may have been good but you know how that goes it may have been bad and so i took the generator apart and took the piston out and flipped the piston upside down and just filled the crankshaft up with grease to kind of, I guess, just turn it into a bearing or a housing or something. But this is going to pull, which is going to turn this, which is going to turn that one, 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 which will then have some wires coming out of the back of it, ran to the house or wherever, 
to turn a ceiling fan or something. So a lot of turning for a little bit of turning. My blocks are not tight enough. It gets to slipping on the shaft. So we'll take the blocks off and redo them, make it a keyway in. We've got to adjust the pipe and we'll probably cut it back a little shorter. The chain is slipping or popping. I think it's just worn out. Too strict. I had to rebuild those blocks and cut a keyway in them to keep it from spinning on the shaft. I probably need to tighten them again. And I put some screws in it to hold the keyway. I think there's two of them in there. One broke off. Blocks on both sides. Then the generator. Oops, see, there went that chain to pop him. I don't like that. Which hopefully. That pipe's about halfway on. I think we should be able to double up and have to put some more buckets or something. I'm not sure. But I definitely am going to shorten the pipe. We're currently producing about 60 volts. Plug up lights and stuff, it's dim. I'm pretty sure this isn't the most efficient way to do it, but I just want a constant source of electricity. So I've been letting it run for a few days, I guess about a week. Pouring in a groove. It was popping like crazy before I did this, let it run in. But you can see a light in between the rocket and the chain. It's not setting down in there. I think that's causing a lot of drag and trouble. I'm not sure how old that chain is, but and it's four different pieces of chain. When it pops, I mean, it pulls that thing forward something serious. I don't like that popping. I had to keep putting in more and more bracing to try to keep it from pulling itself forward. It definitely does better with grease. I can't stand that pop, so. You hear how it's running at a few different little speeds and going. Well, 
slower, faster, faster, slower. That's got, I think that's to do with the chain as well. I mean, it could be due of the, a little bit of bucket angle. And we may have to put more buckets in or something from one bucket not being the same as the other. See if we can do this without getting wet, but almost everything keeps lining up in this little creek. At least when you're working on stuff. Oop, there went that pop. Scared me. We just got that jump there for stopping erosion. Yeah, the pipe's riding on top of the bucket. It's just barely touching them. We're gonna go saw it shorter. I gotta go get the saw and stuff. You just hate to leave it running. Scared something's gonna break. Might come back down here. The whole thing just be boom. And you won't know how it did it. But that's kind of the point of this thing. It's meant to just to leave running all the time. There's our light bulb. I don't think it's an energy efficient light, but it's making light, which will turn up the power here soon. I need to make a little bit more. We can turn that valve. It's it's really about halfway, and trim that pipe up. We'll be about where we need to be.